Hey, it's Matthew again from marketingandreallife.com. This video is still about Google Analytics, still the Google Analytics tutorials, and you're still learning how to better read. You'll notice that we've done a lot of videos up to this point. Really, I could go into even a lot more details in certain areas, which I might, depending on your comments on the blog and on the YouTube channel. So make sure you leave them so I can see where you're having difficulty and make more videos on that. This one I want to get into probably the most advanced part of what I'll be teaching, which is segments. Just like what I talked about in the intro, where you need to be able to look at your your visitors in the correct way so you can make better decisions. So segments is the most intense part, so I'm probably going to have to do this video in multi-part because I only can put up to 10 minutes on YouTube right now. And so I do want to make sure that we do cover everything and that I don't rush through any parts of the segments. So let me again show you what segments can do for you. Uh, the, I'll give you the good example. I'll we'll click on e-commerce. And you can see that my site says I'm getting a 0.35% conversion rate. And I want to compare it. Now, this is with all visits. If you click on this, you can. they have a bunch of default segments. Like we can look at just search traffic or direct traffic or referral traffic or non-paid search traffic or new visitors or returning visitors. Uh, and just out of curiosity, I haven't even really looked at the these segments. Let's see what the conversion rate is. New visitors, 0.22%. Returning visitors is 0.4%. So we get a better conversion rate with those who are returning as opposed to new. And that makes sense. So that's this, this is interesting. Returning visitors provide 537 transactions, and new ones are 121. So clearly, I want to work on the new visitors because the, when they return, it's easier to sell. It's when they're first there that it's a difficult sale. And so by increasing new visit or the new visitor sales, that'll also increase returning visitor sales because obviously those new visitors will become returning visitors. Anyways, we're getting a little off track here. So you can see all of these custom segments. And I have made a lot of them because I've wanted to look at very specific segments of the people who come, including where they're from, what they look at, how they got to my site, and store as opposed to non-store purchases because we also sell ebooks. Like for example, we have an NA only, which is North America only, and then we have overseas. I only have the overseas for store visitors. I don't think I have overseas because I don't really look at overseas at all because we have another store that does that one. So I'm not too concerned with them. And then we have North American store visitors, where we're looking at people who only go or who make it to the store at one point of their visit, not people that never make it to the store, because that'll give us a different idea of of how our store is performing. Because right now, like I said, it looks like we only have a 0.35% conversion rate. Whereas if, for example, we look at Canada store purchases and compare that to just the all visits, we have a 0.91%. But if we delve even further, I believe we have... Oh, maybe we don't. Hey, I can show you how to do it then. Let's look at Canadian store purchases of people who made it to the store. And oh, that was a bit of noise. I'm going to pause for a second until that noise is gone. So in order to create your own segment, you have these two right here. Create a new advanced segment and manage your advanced segment. So let's create a new one. So I have to warn you, this does get a little tricky. They, Google Ad has done a really good job of making this very easy to understand but at the same time it is a little tricky I have to admit even for me to figure out so now let's say that we want to look at Canadians instead of North Americans so we can just look at Canadian conversion rates who have sometimes during their visit made it to the store so they haven't just gone to www.minimorgaming.com but they've actually made it to the store so there's all these dimensions and metrics and so for example dimensions are more like your visitors and content and metrics are like well what what percentage they do, did they make a purchase, all that kind of stuff. So let's look at visitors, because then it drops down all these different things. So let's look at country or territory. So you click, hold, and you drag this over to this area right here. So country, territory, and then you have all of these. Matches exactly, does not match exactly, matches regular expression, contains, does not contain, starts with, ends with less than, greater than, all that stuff. I'm going to keep matches exactly. I'm going to start typing, and it should give me a drop-down. So Canada. And to make sure you, you spell everything properly, otherwise, obviously, it'll throw things out. So they match exactly Canada. Now, I can do an or statement or an and statement. Now, an or statement would be like if I wanted to do North America, then I would add or statement, 
country territory matches exactly United States. So it matches Canada or it matches United States. But I don't want to do that. I want to add an and statement. So I want to say they were in Canada or they are from Canada and they visited the store. So let's take a look instead of visitors. We want to look at content. And so out of the content, this is where we're going to talk about which pages they visited. So we have page. So page. In this case, we don't want matches exactly. We want contains because I don't care which page of the store they went to. And in my case, it looks like this. And I'm not, I'm not going to put a slash or anything else on. I'm just going to do slash store.mini. Actually, I don't even need a slash. I can just put store.miniwargaming.com because it just has to contain this. So they are from Canada and a page in their visit at some point, because remember this is out of visits, this is looking at an entire visit, not just one page. Uh, their page contains store.miniwargaming.com. And then we're going to name the segment, we're going to call it CA Store Visits Only. And I could go even further, remember I said that there's more than one thing that's tracked in our e-commerce, and I can say and, and, let's look at these unique or e-commerce down here all right we're product revenue unique purchases or where was that e-commerce it's actually up here it's not in metrics e-commerce product SKU, and in my case does not contain the words how to because anything that has how to is an ebook just so you know this you don't have to understand what that means um, I'm just going to add that in so it's CA Canadian store visits store purchases only. So we're going to create and apply to the report. And we wait, and we wait, Google thinks, and it calculates. Now check out our conversion rate. 2.76%. Isn't that a much nicer conversion rate? Now I don't want to fool myself into thinking, well, I see I'm doing great, I don't have to do any improvements. Because that means that we have a huge opportunity here. What opportunity did I just discover? I discovered that when Canadians visit my store, 2.76% of them actually purchase, which is a, I think is a really good conversion rate. But I'm not getting that. I'm getting, if we compare this to Canada store purchases only, to Canada store visits store purchases only, so we're going to compare this to Canadians who come to my site and might not visit the store. <clears throat> so it's loading up here. So let's see what it says. And we already know what it says because we saw it before. All visits, you know, as soon as you do two segments, it has to uh, throw in the all visits as well for some reason. 0.35% for all. If we look at Canadians who visit my site and they might or might not go to the store, we get a 0.91%. And for those who actually made it to the store, we get a 2.76%. So what is my opportunity? What can I improve on my website? Well, clearly, I can get more people from my www.miniwargaming.com over to store.miniwargaming.com and if I can get more people over there then my conversion rates tell me that I will be able to get, make more money from that and so there is an opportunity that I just discovered by doing these segments I didn't just look at all visits say 0.35% that bites I gotta improve it oh now it's 0.36 that's good no I actually said okay what actually happens when people get over to the store and the nice thing about this is you can look at these other numbers too just to verify that you set up your segment properly. Canada store purchases only. So basically everybody, every Canadian that made it to any part of my site, we got 316. And those who made it to the store, also 316. So that tells me that there's, it's right because the 0.91% is going down because there's more people but the same number of purchases, if that makes sense. So just remember, we're looking here at Canadians who visit the website and make a store purchase as opposed to Canadians who visit the website, make it to the store, and make a store purchase. So obviously you're going to have a higher percentage of those that make it to the store. But since we're getting such a discrepancy, that's where I can see the opportunity. Okay, this is part one. We're going to continue with part two, where we'll look at even more segments and things that you can do and opportunities you can find because of them.